Good evening chaps and chapettes, Rogger here and welcome to Broken Puppet. This is a, a little bit of a different one. This is another game jolt indie game which looks more sort of like not direct horror but a horror theme but it's certainly as you can just see from this menu screen alone has very very high production qualities especially for a game jolt game which is I know it's a little bit disparaging but uh, come on let's face it facts. Okay uh, one two three four and the boss so this might not be a short one let's have a look. That prestigious theatre got packed every night. The audience who was eager to watch the stellar performance of Dazzle. The shining experience star of this particular show. However, the curse of time had darkness her beautiful porcelain body. And thus she was cast off, vanished in the basement, cemetery of broken puppets. No, it cannot be. What am I doing here? My beloved audience awaits me. I must perform again. Who is that with such irritating voice? How dare they substitute me? That applause was meant for me! In rage, she managed to free herself from the threats that had always held her. She thought that she could use the strange reel of treat to recover her glory, kill the imposter, and return the show to its one and only star. Gasserine. Who are you playing as the villain in this? Ooh. I like the intro, very, very interesting premise. I'll give it that, I'll give it that. The time had come to escape from the place. She checked if she could move by using the movement keys. She decided to try her new tools by clicking the left mouse button to throw needles and clicking the right mouse button to tighten the thread. Ah, very clever. Hot damn, like I said, this is Game Jolt. Wow, that is, that's a wow in Deedles. Can I open you? Wow, I am genuinely impressed. Genuinely impressed indeed. Can I invert the controls? Bollocks. Okay, so apparently I can't, that's a little bit noisy. Oh, those glass marbles. Oh, of course, because if she's a puppet, these this is all life-size stuff. That's, uh, that is clever. So can I? <laughs> okay, can I? Oh. Hang it. I just did. Oh, Well, I did hang it. Middle button to cancel. Oh, I see. And do I have a... No, I have a walk and a... Okay, default run. Right option. Very clever. I am genuinely impressed. The room of the basement overwhelmed her. She had to keep on moving forward. The longer the string, the stronger the force. So if I go... Boobity and babbity, and then... Reel it in. Fuck all happens. Should I try from the top, maybe? Well, I can hop over all this anyway. Can I? Sort of? Maybe? There we go. Ah! So therefore, bridge. Uh, let's go up there. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Okay, uh, do you want it directly above then? Yeah, I thought you did. Uh, uh, let's jump it. There we are. So that is such a good character design. I certainly haven't seen anything like it. I'll give it that. Homs. Homs this way. Well, I've no idea what a hom is. It is an egress. I would like the egress, please. 
Push me. Ah, oh, 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 I see. And whoop. Oh, maybe not. Do I need a long one? There we go. Clever, and I'm presuming there's a limited amount of thread. Pull me. All right. Uh, let's put you over there. Damn. Like I said, I'm quite impressed. Oh, are we having our first enemies? Soldiers. The violin guardians of the theater. Now, Kazirun was an intruder. Gonna hang him? <laughs> oh, I am definitely the bad guy. <laughs> and death? No, I need to smash him. How did I get that other one? Ooh, okay. Literally just headshots. Headshots with a needle. That just sounds painful. So therefore, I need to... Puppet masher. That's a bit on the nose, is it not? Damn it. Did I got him? Oh, come on, he's right there. Isn't that the whole point of you? Ah, uh, okay, I see. I need to lead him through. Can I just headshot him? Stay still. Okay, apparently I can. And squish him for good measure. I really like the art style. It's, it, it's sort of not Tim Burton because it's far too colourful, but it has that sort of vibe to it. Okay, a little bit of jump, but free indie, free indie game. What am I complaining about? She was about? close to her beloved dressing room. And of course, everything's French. Does that mean she can actually get dressed? Rather than to be the sort of um, fallen to bits look, maybe? There was nothing left. Every trace of her was gone. This cannot be. This is all your fault. Okay, so therefore, do I just tear you off? Yeah, pretty certain I didn't want to do that. Okay, let's get you out of the way. God, everything's a f everything is a physics object, that's incredible. I mean, it is affecting the frames a little bit, but not too badly. So in that case, I need to... Apparently, do a Matrix tribute. I need to be getting up there. So I need to build... A freaking... Come on. Come on, it's gonna come off soon. There we go. Am I right in my thinking? I must be right in my thinking. Because I don't have, like, a ledge grab. Got a decent enough jump, so... Ooh, bet it, come on, it's a chair. Well, shag. No, that's not... <laughs> well, there's the answer up there. Come on, come on. So there's the answer to the... Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Of course I'm trying to do it the hard way. That makes a hell of a lot more sense. Uh, 
Uh, they don't stick though. Okay. So I think I've got four threads maximum. Yeah. Oh yeah. There we are. And let's read it all back in. That was a lot easier than I was trying to make it. Building stuff out of physics objects. Pull you. Suit yourself. And hop on you and break the chain. Hey. That's a very, very simple mechanic, but it's a good one. Cool, man. This place is just so busy with stuff. People might say that's a bit too much. Hmm. Making it too much. And she fell into the deepest abyss in the theater, the unexplored pit. Oh, was I supposed to come here? I'm guessing I was. The seamstresses, who are always planned in an obsessive search for needles. Ow! Bitch! So, can I not shoot them? Shit, I can't... I don't have any other weapons. Guessing I just have to leg it then. I think maybe not. Can I... No, I can't. Ah, oh, that's a that's a pull you. Oh, that was the entrance. Okay, so let's head on up and pull that. Maybe that will move the platform. Do you guys stay down there? Yes, you do. No, get off the freaking get off the platform. That's better. Okay, so that's that gotten. What's that do? Ah, oh, piss. Yeah, I thought as much, so can I snipe you from- Bollocks. Jump and snipe. Think that's- Oh, oh think that's got it. Hey, there we go. Intriguing. I'm genuinely fascinated by the game. I know it's hot. What it this is is basically an action platformer, but just the whole setting and idea. I don't know. Can I do? No, that'd be a bit too much. I'm guessing I do have to do that. So I need to get up there. I suppose, technically speaking, in all of these puzzles, you could just do. A shed loads of physics objects. Let's get all these out of the way. Maybe that's why you're adding to the weight. Ah, oh, oh no, or is that that looks like a water valve? So therefore, get a few more on you. Let's make it a trifecta. There we are. Ah, oh, piss. Am I dead? Well, actually, no, I'm a puppet. Why would the water be deadly? That makes absolutely no sense. Except the standing in the way was a bit of a bloody stupid idea. Yes, get you out of the way, and... Oh, bollocks. So what do I move, then? Do I move this entire thing over? Apparently not. Did, did I make up that jump? Oof, no, it's just a very, a very tricky jump. Alright, fine. Fair enough, fair enough. Sneak through you. Well, that's a big sodding lump of dynamite. Ah, which I'm supposed to do. There we go. 
Very, very simple mechanics, but very, very interesting ones. An underwater section as well, because of course she doesn't breathe. So why would water affect her? I mean, obviously it would corrode her at some point, eventually. Okay, yeah, I get it. Basic physics. Put something heavy on that. Can I... Would this work? Apparently it would. Although I was shown this area. Am I supposed to come down here? Oh no, oh I see. So I could do that or I could drain the entire place. Uh, probably should drain the place. There we go. I hope I don't rust. There we are. That would certainly be a concern, I gather. Then again, I'm more concerned with how the hell are you alive? And random splish. Be that clanking. There's a weird orby things from the beginning. Do I draw these to me? Okay, guessing I do. Bollocks. There we go. Right, so what next? So I'm guessing I'll move you out the way. Yep. Can I draw you to me? No, guess not. And Tabusk. Nice. I don't need to do you. I can just jump past. Is that another platform? Oh, oh no, I'm standing on it. Whoops. What is that clangity clang? What the hell? Ah, uh, yeah. Under this would literally be puppet hell. That the energy subly for the theatre come from the ashes of her partners. Okay, I know this is a game about talking puppet, but that makes no goddamn sense. So that's why there were machines to destroy us. Oh, we actually, I think we're in the theatre now. A little bit of a shame that the HUD stays in during the... These little overlays. Okay, so I'll go over there, hop, dilly, hop, pop, pop, and do something to the clock. Okay, that, that is cool. Those ba those double bases are kind of cool. The clock had fallen, and so it broke. Time passes for everyone. What is this clock doing here? Somebody should throw it away. Uh, aren't you the one that got thrown away? Okay, so let's see. What do I need to do here? Can I just force it open? Okay, so these clearly flap open upwards. How many of these do I need, though? Can't need all of them. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. There must be something else in the area that does this. So I can see what happens clearly. I need to have some threads on the latch itself in order to open up the clock so I can get inside. But I clearly need to have these, these up, so I can actually do the jumps in order to get across. But at the same time, I need to. Hmm. 
I mean, that is a really cool effect. I will give it that. <laughs> I'm reminded of a surreal Just Cause 3. Oh, I see the stuff. Go, oh, Bennett. Go, oh, Bennett. I need to be. St oh, bollocks. Okay, and God, oh, bollocks. Okay, let's make it this time, Rog. There we go. Oh, I'm in the clock now. Now what do I do? Um, no, actually, genuinely, seriously, what what do I do? Oh, I'm, I just walk past everything. Fair enough. Why haven't I heard about this game? I've never heard it about. And why has no one else really like played it? I'm genuinely surprised that like, the, some of the bigger names haven't played this. Or at least not that I've seen, because this is this is genuinely it's genuinely quite good. Ugh. Never trust a doorway that's shaped As like a, a giant mouth. Already relies of the memory of the spotlight, the impatient murmur of the audience who await her epic entrance. She got pictured the imposter, torn apart by her tricks. Oh, we're having a boss fight. This looks boss fighty as all get in, but this entire place looks kind of knackered. Oh, what are you doing here? Are you here to help the stagehands? <laughs> Do you really think you have the right to come here and steal my show? Have you even seen yourself? Do you even think somebody would pay a penny to watch a bracken puppet? You should not blame me for your disgrace. You've only got time to blame, sweetie. Get out of my sight! You have nothing to do on the stage! Catherine, listen that lengthy monologue <laughs> with Paul. Quiet! Don't you see I'm talking here? So rude! <laughs> Bitch. Do you hear the people cheer? They cheer for me! This entire place looks like a crap hole. I love your style, really! Though, Rob's are a bit demoday, don't you think? Stab the bitch. Don't you even realize your deplorable condition? Haven't you seen yourself in the mirrors of my dressing room? <laughs> realize it's gonna happen to you too, I sweetheart. I pity you. Time has been cruel to you. Not as much as I'm gonna oh, be to you. I'm just kidding. I love it. <laughs> Show business. Okay. Are you going to stay there all day? What are you doing? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear that? If you don't go back to the basement, he will come for you! Holy crap. Not the boss fight I was expecting. Hello, face of my nightmares for the next few weeks. Not the sound I was expecting. Finish her. Rip her head off. We'll use it as a prop. I need to learn your patterns and attacks. Bastard. You're nothing but old scrap. Take her with you. Oh, come on, that's cheap. Oh, am I dead? 
Oh no, I'll just jump up here. You're already dead! Ah. The audience doesn't even remember you! Oh! Bloody hell, this is hard! How the hell am I supposed to keep track of all of these physics objects? I'm gonna pull out the fear you have left! I am going to lose this. Repair head off. We'll use it as a prop. Repair apart. There we go. Learning your patterns. Take care with you. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. This, this is gonna get me. Okay, where's the bomb? Finish her. Damn it! Oh, okay, fine. Fair enough. I'm being given a do-over. We'll use it as a prop. Come on. Ah, there's one. Let's use that one. Take her with you. And no, got it. You have no idea what you're doing. It's called vengeance, sweetheart. You're already dead. The audience doesn't even remember you. And bye. No! What have you done? You're completely insane. Get her. Get her. Among the dirt and the debris, she found herself again. There was nothing between her and her goals anymore. She was the protagonist again. <laughs> the queen of the show. Catherine dropped the one who dared take her place and who was now a part Harsh. of debris. Debris of what once was beautiful and she had torn apart. She asked herself if she really wanted her now. It didn't matter anymore. Her destructive voice was full of fear. That was Broken Puppet, a very, very short game, but my giddy art, that was good. That was good. As I said, very, very short, uh, maybe half an hour or so. But definitely, if they're using, if these guys are using this as like a proof of concept to maybe try and get some funding or get like a full game made or something, I really, really hope they are because that was really, really, really good. As I said, very basic action platformer, but the simple, the physics interactions, holy crap, if you can. Im 
like scale that up with a full game, wow, that would be incredible. More than anything else. And a little bit of humor as well. More than anything. Uh. But yeah. For a free BD horror game, I highly recommend you play it yourself because with playing with the physics, it's one of those things which you have to do yourself. You can't really get the idea of it just from watching a vid. Although, thank you very much indeed for watching this vid. I don't think there's going to be anything more after this. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be any end credits. So, that was Broken Puppet. And thank you very much indeed for watching this silly little video of mine. If you enjoyed it, have a little look see down below to see if there's anything else I've done which takes your fancy. If so, have a little look see. Bar means, bar means, my friend. Subscribe if you want to, but most importantly, please be wonderful to each other. Get night, bastard. See? Ah, uh, metal beats wood. And now I've stolen the contents of your underpants. How do you feel about that? Porto. Let's play! I already am! Get yourself. Oh! Okay, it's straight up haunted.